run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. From the water table to our soils to the atmosphere itself, our world is becoming more and more toxic each and every day. But it's not just the air outside that's toxic. Indoor air has been shown to have two to five times higher concentrations of pollutants than even outdoor air. And most Americans spend 90% of their time inside using toxic chemicals within their homes. There are more than 42 million smokers in the United States. Well over a thousand types of mold and mildew linked to numerous conditions. And don't forget the fact that six million Americans live with pets they're allergic to as well. When I began to research these statistics, it was clear to me it was time to start cleansing my lungs in order to combat the toxic environment that we cannot escape but that we can fight back against. Made with organic and wild cultivated herbs and manufactured in the USA, the new InfoWars Life Lung Cleanse is here in a convenient spray bottle that can be brought with you throughout any toxic environment. Now available exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com or by calling toll-free 888-253-3139. The globalists have controlled the mainstream media for a long time, but now they're expanding, making the weaponization even more vicious and deceptive. All the major networks are state-run. We are partnering this year with the NFL. The NFL has become a political weapon against the Second Amendment and pushes Obamacare. MSNBC tells us that our children belong to the state. We have to break through our kind of private idea that kids belong to their parents or kids belong to their families and recognize that kids belong to whole communities. It is more important than ever to realize that we are not the alternative media. We are the true media. The establishment dinosaur press is dying. We are in an information war, and we are losing that war. Join us at InfoWarsNews.com and PrisonPlanet.tv. Members can share their memberships with up to 11 people. By subscribing, you will literally be buying war bonds in the info war to expand our operation in the face of the tyrants. Join us at PrisonPlanet.tv. This is Alex Jones for InfoWarsLife.com. The latest in preparedness is now here. An electrically stabilized colloidal silver solution that can be added to both your home cabinet and preparedness pack alike. Concentrated to 30 parts per million in what has been dubbed the Survival Silver Solution. The new InfoWars Life Silver Bullet Colloidal Silver is the answer for you and your family. And it's entirely free of toxic artificial additives that are loaded into many products. The InfoWars Life Silver Bullet Silver is so powerful that it is concentrated into a two ounce bottle and is not recommended for extended continual use. This is not a low grade formula. We are working with one of the top laboratory manufacturers in the United States to bring you the best form of colloidal silver using electrical processes within a base of deionized water for your preparedness storage or your home kitchen. Purchase your bottle of InfoWarsLife.com Silver Bullet Colloidal Silver today and find other amazing supplements at InfoWarsLife.com. stand up to us, then they all might stand up. Those puny little ants outnumber us a hundred to one. And if they ever figure that out, there goes our way of life. It's not about food. It's about keeping those ants in line. The Alex Jones Show. Because there is a war on for your mind. All right, I'm going to go to your phone calls. Greg is a cattle rancher in Utah. Listen to us on 540 AM. We're going to go to Eric in Kentucky, who's a rancher. Jeffrey in Michigan, a rancher. And we'll talk about the bunny situation. Mike in Ohio, feds and the courts. Clint uh, in Ohio, who's a cattle rancher. And you wonder why there's record cattle prices. It's because they've been cheating the cattle ranchers. And my family's getting out of it. Almost everybody else I know is getting out of it. Except for keeping a few cows or donkeys out there to get the tax exemption, which isn't a tax exemption. Just if you don't have animals on it, there's no way you can pay for the property. It's amazing. We're going to go to your calls here in just a moment. And again, four students in critical condition. Pray for them in Pennsylvania high school stabbing. More than 20 people stabbed now, they're saying. I've seen cases in Japan where the guy killed seven children and wounded like 14 in a matter of minutes with a butcher knife. Well, you know butcher knives got to have a waiting period on them or got to register them. 
shouldn't joke. England's actually doing that. Or trying to do that right now. They're proposing a license for knives over four inches to even have them in your house. Yeah, that'll that, that'll fix everything. As if you can't make knives all day out of regular, you know, metal. LAPD officers tampered with in-car recording equipment. Shows uh, about half the cars had secretly, uh, you know, messed with it and turned it off. Well, yeah. I mean, if you can't trust police to not be listened to while they're driving around all the time. I mean, I'm all for an in-dash deal when they go on a call for it to turn on, but I mean, look, I tell you, they make the enforcers live under the police state, so then they'll want us to live under it too. They've got things now in, what is it, New York and other places where they make audio and cameras now in, in the uh, taxi cabs. Oh, it's for everyone's safety. No, it's not. It's a total police state. It's horrible. I mean, if we can't trust the cops to not be on audio and video all the time, we can't trust them to be cops. It's, just, it's unbelievable. This is not what a free country looks like. A free country, you don't put up with corrupt people, so it doesn't matter. You don't have to surveil everybody because the people themselves are innately moral and will not put up with it. As things get more and more corrupt, the answer will be more and more police state, which will make it worse and worse and will all be selectively enforced. Look at the IRS. I've seen MSNBC when I monitor it. It's got to be 20 times. Go, of course they're going after the Tea Party. They need to. They need to arrest them. They need to not let them have free speech because they're a bad racist group. And by the way, if you don't like Obamacare written by offshore banks, Hank Aaron compares Republicans that oppose Obama to the KKK. I have the quotes here. He said that to the 40th anniversary of his record-breaking 715th home run, speaking to USA Today. <laughs> really, is Cynthia McKinney part of the Ku Klux Klan? Here's a woman, honorable enough, demonized, gone after. Even back when she was anti-gun, she'd expose government child kidnapping rings with uh, DynCorp and others. They're the biggest CPS private contractors in Texas, I should add, in most other states. But I'm talking worldwide. She would expose 9-11, $2 trillion stolen from the Pentagon. She would do all that, so it didn't matter if she was anti-gun. I, I, I just said, well, she's a real person. She's ignorant on that. Now she's anti-Obamacare, anti-New World Order, pro-gun, and basically with us reaching out to her and others over the years, she now is awake. Folks, if we can wake up mainline conservatives to be friends with, with liberals, we can just convert everyone over to being an American and to being into freedom. Let me tell you something, folks. Freedom is popular across the board. Cynthia McKinney now goes out and goes shooting. You, I mean, I can't tell you how many liberals I've taken shooting, and they go, this is no big deal. This is great. This is empowering. I took a bunch of Hollywood actors out who are the cast of the new hit show on HBO, um, Silicon Valley with Mike Judge a few weeks ago. And they, most of them never shot guns and were been, you know, somewhat anti-gun. And Mike Judge got them out there on his ranch outside Austin and uh, where we go shooting all the time. And uh, they were just converted in a matter of minutes. I watched it happen. And it was the, yeah, I'm good. I should be able to have this because only the bad guy, I, I want a gun. I, I'm going to get, it was just like right there. I was like, good, go take some safety classes. You guys did it. This woman had never shot this actress and she was shooting bullseye at 200 yards with an M4 on her first shot. The gun Joe Biden says she shouldn't have. She was shooting at 300 yards bullseye with a 50 caliber rifle in the first five shots. We had like his 50 cals, it's all lined up, lined up all these guns, just all laid out safe, load them right here, put them up on his back porch, thousand acres looking out, shoot wherever we want. It was just awesome. Big things of Tannerite. We got some video, but I got a little excited. I don't think I'm going to put it out. I actually had, because <laughs> I'm sitting there and I'm shooting this M, uh, I'm shooting this 308 Reaper and I'm just shooting the Tannerite. It's boom, boom. And I turn around, like every shot I'm shooting Tannerite. 
and I turn around. Gucci already shot the video. We're not going to put it out though, because I, I got, I, I just got excited and used a little profanity, and I apologize. There were no children in attendance. I'm like, you're never getting our guns. And I turn around right as they shoot the big charge that was under a stump, illegal explosives, simulants, I guess they call them. And I right as I turn around, like it's fake, like in a movie. I go, you'll never get our guns, bleepers. And it goes boom, and the stump blows into pieces. Like, you know, 100 yards behind me, it looks like a movie as the sun's setting into the setting sun. I mean, it is. This video would get 10 million views. But my tongue is literally hanging out. I look a little crazy. They'd use that against me. Because, I mean, I've been out there for hours. Ah, this is so awesome. The freedom. Anyways, that's what they're scared of, folks. They're afraid of that. All right. Um, and I was just going, one shot. Boom. Full trigger. Boom. Full trigger. Boom. I turn around. Ah. <laughs> and all of a sudden, I mean, it's just awesome. All right, I said I'd take your phone calls. Excuse me. I was having flashbacks of enjoyment. I, I almost call it a gun, gun gasm. A, a, a set of a, or, a, a, a family show, but instead of a set of an orgasm, it's a gun gasm. And I, and I, and I, and I, and I just, it's, it's, it's the fun of that. It's like the fun of like throwing your line out and a huge fish comes up. Or like a huge shark, and you're like, oh my gosh, that's like an eight-foot hammerhead. Oh. You know, it's, it's, it's that same feeling. It's that same feeling when you're like a thousand yards and shoot a propane tank with a 50 cal, pull the trigger first shot, and it just goes boom. I mean, it is just fun. It's fun. All right, let's talk about the serious situation out uh, west. Excuse me. Mm. <clears throat> Clint in Ohio, thank you for, no, 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 I'm, I'm going to Clint next. Sorry, sorry, I'm, let me get serious. Very ser serious situation out uh, there in Nevada. They're saying if they get the numbers today, they're going to march across and try to get the cows they've stolen from him, 300 head. Very serious situation. Let's go to Greg in Utah. Um, you're listening on KYAH 540 AM, says he's uh, got information on this. Uh, give us your take, Greg. Yeah, I just wanted to uh, uh, give the people a scenario that they can understand about the BLM. Okay, uh, first of all, it stands for Bureau of Land Management, not ownership. Uh, if you were, a, if you're a landlord, say, say you have an apartment complex and you hire a manager and he starts kicking out the, your tenants, and all of a sudden they're not paying any money, and the next thing you know, you find yourself into bankruptcy proceedings because you uh, you can't make the payments on that. That's the situation. I am a, a total fear of that's happening here. People are not going to do anything, I have a feeling, until they can go to the grocery store and find out that hamburger, that package of hamburger costs 30, 50 bucks or even $100 or is not even available. You know, we, we're the ones that we are the owners of the land. That, that is land that was not granted to homesteaders. That's all it is. It's public. It's ours. And they are managers, and they are terrible managers. They're horrible managers. And we ought to paint, you know, the word grasshopper on them because, and, go, and watch the movie Ants over and over and over again until we finally wake up because it, it will be a horrible, horrible day when people are left with no food on the table. You just crystallized it all perfectly. And the media... It's like, why is the governor saying they have a right to that land? Uh, why is this rancher claiming, you know, he has a loyal title to the grazing and forage rights? What is he talking about? He's a liar. The feds are the boss, and they said so. It's federal and state law. Going back to 1877, that he's got his little ranch bordering the larger area that no one ever even wanted to fence off or claim was theirs. And now they're saying a desert tortoise, which a Don Salazar just wrote an article before Nevada cattle rancher dispute, BLM was euthanizing, that's killing, endangered door, uh, desert tortoise. Months before the heated contention between Bureau of Land Management and Nevada cattle rancher, Clevin Bundy was just on last hour, purportedly over protecting an endangered species of desert tortoise, the BLM was euthanizing the tortoise in droves. On Saturday, the BLM, with the help of helicopters, low-flying aircraft, and hired cowboys, began rounding up Bundy's cattle. And what the man asserts is his own land. Well, I mean, to be technical, he asserts he has the right to grazing and water rights too. Probably need to change that just to be technical. And forbade him from interfering with the operation. As Bundy announced, he was prepared uh, to weather a full-on assault. And then it goes on. The BLM says they're moving in, not to encroach on the man's property, but because Bundy didn't pay grazing fees, which the Bureau has imposed on land 
developers who disturb tortoise habitat on public land. See, they're making it where the tortoise has the right, not the person. And, and then it just goes on to talk about how 